Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So as you can see today, I'm going to be working on the Gaomon tablet today. I'm not too sure how well you guys are going to be able to hear the audio just because the mic is directly behind my tablet just because of lack of space on my desk. And yeah, so today I thought it'd be fun to work on the Gaomon today just because I've been in a very like digital painting mood that's like more primarily on paint to the side. And I thought it'd be fun to go through kind of like the painting process more in like real time with me kind of explaining a few things and hopefully answering a few questions that you guys had. Now, um, I'm just going to show you guys an example. So I actually have two things we could work on. I have this one and I have this one. So I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that. I think it was... Clip Studio paint contest that they had. I was gonna enter in it, but I realized I don't have any time to actually fully render or actually work on these pieces because I've worked on these pieces like maybe a couple of weeks ago or like a week or two ago and I had no time to finish it. But I still like the concept of these. I still think it's very cute. I still have to think of a color palette for this one. But I thought maybe today we could paint this one. So this is actually my OC Masaki. I just put them in a kind of like a space suit um, kind of outfit. I don't know. I thought it'd be cute. And I was playing around with different colors and stuff. And I ultimately came up with this color scheme, which is more like pinks, purples, and a little bit of like minty teal colors. Leaning towards a little bit more pastel. And then I added some darker purple shadows to indicate like a different kind of lighting and stuff. This one is of Masaki again, and Hansuke, who's like kind of like my little mascot character who I don't draw enough of. <laughs> I need to get back into that. And yeah, so I think uh, we are going to work on this one today. And maybe in another session we can work on this one. I don't know if I'm going to fully film this one so you guys have a better idea how I pick colors, but I'll leave that for a different video. So usually, actually, when I'm working on digital painting, I usually like to make a second version of this. How do I explain this? I like to pop another window of this, I guess. But if you go into view and you go new view, basically you have two of the, like, two canvases open of the same work. And basically it treats it as one, basically. So if I make edits on this one, you'll see it on this one. So initially I usually like working like this. I usually make the viewfinder or like the navigator super, super tiny, like this. Um, and then I can maximize the amount of space I have on here, like in the main drawing area. But more recently, I decided that because I, the way how I set up references and like other things on the side, sometimes I just literally have like a tiny thing, like a tiny window open here, and then I have all the space down here because I can't overlap this way because obviously you can't just cover up your reference or whatever you're using. So I've been just mainly working on just the one, um, the one view, but then I would change the navigator to be a lot larger and hopefully to fit whatever, um, size I want it to be. I've been working mostly in like a square format because I've been working on illustrations for my own zine, but yeah. So I think we're just going to get started and hopefully I can cut out a lot of the rambling. So I do apologize that this side of the screen is going to be a little bit more fuzzy or a little foggy just because the light is coming from the right side in my room. So, or not right side, the left side in my room. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see. So you guys probably have a little bit of fogginess. Um, so the good thing, though, if you guys can look at my layers, hopefully you guys can see my layers, um, I'm going to actually hide some of these so you guys can actually see the process. So this is the initial sketch of this particular piece. So I just basically started drawing, I think, Masaki first in this kind of a pose. And then you can see that I started to kind of like chip away. So that's like how I, I kind of like to work. Sometimes I color in stuff and then chip away to get a little bit more definition. So I know what the things look like. Um, so I have these little stars. What is that noise? Um, so basically after I finish the sketch, I will duplicate the sketch. And this is the second sketch that I have. So usually I would just pick um, one color. In this case, I think it was this purple color right here and I fill in the whole canvas and I put this layer on multiply and then I put the colors underneath and this is what it looks like this helps me lay down like a general color scheme 
Um, so I can just kind of pick and choose colors and think of what fits the best. After that, I will add a multiply layer so I can establish a little bit of the shadows. After that, then I'll add any highlights, either another layer or I'll use the addition layer if I want stuff to be a little bit more glowy or if I want a harsher light. And then after I have all these layers all together, I will actually merge these. I feel like some people don't understand why I merge these. I just find it easier painting on one layer. You can definitely just paint on like a separate layer on top of all the ones you had before. So this canvas is a little bit big because it is on an A4 size canvas, which is the size I don't work on often. So this is going to take a while for my computer to save this. But yeah, I think we're just going to start painting because I've been rambling too much. So usually, um, I kind of flip-flop between doing the background and the character. So let's see, how do I want to do this? I just don't know if I want to add like this. Oh, I need to fix the navigator so I can see if this looks okay. I like making the navigator just large enough so I don't have to zoom out too much when I'm working. But if you like, I feel like I'm only doing this just because the screen of this tablet is quite large. Um, when I'm working in pencil side with my Wacom, when I'm just looking at the laptop screen. I tend to like having the full canvas as my work area. So that's why I shrunk my navigator to be super small. When we slowly working on a digital painting zine, I think it's gonna be mostly Wanu related. But if you like any of my digital paintings, especially if you like the underwater Wanu painting that I did, um, you might be interested in just looking at the zine, I guess. Like, even if you're not familiar with Wanu or you're not a Seventeen fan. So this part's really tedious, but I have fun painting. <laughs> So you guys should let me know if you prefer to see real time for these kinds of stuff, like this kind of digital painting, or if I should do something similar to how I filmed the watercolor videos where I will do the full session like this for the most part. Not the full session, a good chunk of the session in real time, and I'll just like edit away um, some silences and stuff. Or I should... Do it like how I do the watercolor, where I uploaded a kind of like the edited version of the video and then the sped up version that is kind of um, unlisted. Just in case you guys are just interested in seeing how the piece comes together instead. I don't think I cleaned this up very well, so... Because I guess this is supposed to be part of his hair. I feel like I've just been really liking digital painting lately, just to make like environments or like backgrounds, like full back backgrounds. Um, the reason being is because I kind of loathe like line work. I'm very envious of people who can do line work very like meticulously or very carefree like one or the other. I feel like I don't follow in either of them. I feel like I'm too lazy to be like a person who meticulously lines like every detail but I'm also too picky for me to keep a uh, line art too messy like i like to clean stuff up which is why i feel like i love doing line work after the fact 
this is not too late. I'll just copy and paste this. So I'm just going to copy and paste this just so we have some progress shots as well we work so you guys can have more of like before and after or like before middle another one and then the end i think would be a little bit more beneficial seeing how kind of like the rendering process kind of affects everything so maybe depending on the suggestions of uh, you guys i will see if i'll record the sped up footage while i'm doing this so the sped up footage won't be me like you guys will be seeing my hand it will literally be a screen recording and then the full process basically just being recorded it's just easier that way instead of having to re-render all the footage so for the most part I like to choose colors that are already on the canvas, but sometimes, like as I just did right now, I will choose a new color so I can darken or lighten something. But this is why I like to establish like a light source and shadows like early on before I merge everything so I can um, just basically color pick while I'm painting for the most part. My stomach is not having it. Hopefully you guys can't hear my stomach. It's making weird like gurgling noises. I don't know why because I don't think I ate anything that has contained dairy in it. So I think I like the flat color better. I'm gonna add a bit of this pink though. Make sure to save often. <laughs> I should really see if there's a way to like put a reminder that pops up on your screen or something that says save. It'll be fun if there's like something that could do that. I'm gonna take a little break so I can figure out why my stomach is like this. Oops. So I think I mentioned this before. But I don't really use the express keys that often. I'm more used to using the keyboard. I think express keys are like super helpful though. <laughs> and I think I like I probably would use the express keys probably a little bit more if I didn't have like a wireless keyboard. Just because like I don't know if I would keep my laptop to the side or like how I have it positioned right now. Um, my, ta my tablet's like right in front of my laptop, basically. Well, my laptop's like propped on books as well, so it's like raised. So I don't know how I want to do this per se. <laughs> is this actually I don't know what this circle is mm. so like I feel like I want this to be dark as well. Part of me wants to shrink this down. I've just been like listening to end flying covers. Hands are like my worst enemy. Look at these sausage fingers. That's okay. So I'm gonna refix this helmet. So 
I couldn't fit his Ahoge in here properly, so it's like really curved. I'll see if I can buff it out a little bit. his piercings. These are a little bit more green than- oh that's because his ears- his ears- his eyes are actually green. <laughs> Never mind. So let's say his earrings and stuff were not the right color, but that's the reason why. <laughs> does have a longer hair down here at least I'm trying to make this thing as round as I can because looks really wonky <laughs> background first actually. It's okay. This is this is fine. <laughs> mm, I think I need to learn how to draw other environments. I've been doing mostly like water and plant themes. So like doing clouds and stuff is just like mind-boggling to me. <laughs> that one I should probably pull up a reference, but we're just gonna wing it for now. This is painful for me, I don't know what I'm doing. saved in a while. I'm just gonna kind of flip-flop between kind of Masaki's this part I guess like the front part right here because I can probably finish this without having to deal too much with the background anyways. So Another concept I want to do kind of with these weird lanterns now. Hmm. I feel like this angle's off. Is that kind of? I guess I maybe it takes the top part. I'll just put this on multiply and then lower the opacity. We can try to fix this to be a little bit more accurate. straight now. I feel like this has to be fixed though. I don't know if the angle looks right. <laughs> What's perspective? I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> wait. Ah, wait, this is his thumb. I'll make this darker so you can differentiate this. Hopefully the lighting isn't getting any worse. <laughs> I actually haven't checked. So sorry if the footage is like super foggy. I hope it's not too bad. So I'm gonna 
I want to make this less. I want to make it more like a circle. I want to circle like a, a fatter wall. <laughs> I'll like make sure to add a little bit of like captions and stuff or little blurbs of text because I'm pretty sure I won't be talking too much when I'm doing this so it's like very boring for you guys if I don't probably talk about my process because right now it's just a lot of back and forth of me um, cleaning stuff up, fixing the shape of something, trying to figure out what's the more appropriate color to do like um, the outlines in and stuff like that. Also, I think recently I haven't been wearing the glove for this. I think it's because of the matte screen protector that I feel like it's not as necessary. Um, I feel like it's only necessary when my hands are clammy or like if I've put moisturizer on. So I haven't been really using it. It's like super windy today. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the wind. Just gonna add a little bit of an outline. I think if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a lot of my whips and stuff for the zine project that I want to do. I've been trying to like make sure I did the cover and then the back cover. So I'm kind of working on two separate pieces right now and then the inside covers. Just because if I get the covers done, I feel like it's like less of a chance for me to abandon the project just because like I do like what the cover looks like. I think I did an okay job. I'm just like stream the stars going up this way. I thought maybe some stray clouds. into here if I use a lighter color. I'll just kind of like funnel in the stars going this way. <laughs> change the angle a little bit so you guys get a little bit less um, fuzziness. So hopefully this works a little bit better. So I just prop the angle up a little bit more and it's a little bit more comfortable for me to work as well. So hopefully this works a little bit better. I feel like this week all I've been listening to is End Flying like their covers and stuff, and sometimes like Starlight, I think it's called, um, or higher music, <laughs> like the red tape and their blue tape, it's like all I've been listening to. Cause usually I'm not into like, um, that much of hip hop I guess, I'm more of like into like ballads, R&B, pop songs and stuff, but lately I've been listening to a little bit more hip hop. Oh my, I like Higher Music's um, Red Tape and Blue Tape albums. I love Golden's voice though. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I was just out of date from like news and stuff, like K-pop news. I didn't know that Golden used to be G Soul. So like, I used to listen to G Soul's songs a lot. Like I have a specific album that I listen to from him. And then I guess he went to the military and then when he came back, I think he signed with AOMG. He might have signed beforehand, but either way, I didn't know that he changed his um, stage name to Golden. So I was like very confused, but like I really enjoyed Golden's voice, and I guess that makes sense because I was a fan of um, G Soul. <laughs> and I listened to like PH1 a lot as well. I think it's like after I found his Killing Verse on YouTube that I started listening to a lot of um, PH1. Let 
excited for all the comebacks still. I'm not ready, but I'm excited for all the comebacks. Because 17 has a comeback very, very soon. I need to catch up on Pentagon. Because Yanan is back. Super happy. I didn't realize I changed Masaki's hair by accident. That's okay. I think it still looks like him. I just like usually has like two chunks of hair coming from here. I mean, I could just nah. Okay, I won't do it. Found a way, like a better way to set this up. This is definitely bad for my back. Doesn't look like it's part of his body though. So legs, legs. Yeah, it looks like his legs don't attach to his body, right? Hmm. Oh, this sucks. I think I have two. his proportions so much. This is actually very similar to my Wanu piece that I was gonna do. You guys will probably see the Wanu one on Saturday I think because as long as the audio is fine it should be up by Saturday because I probably have to finish that tonight so I can edit it. So his body curves up this way. The end of his body should be here actually. <laughs> right? About here. And then the rest should be his legs, I'm assuming. Like this, and then his other leg. Like that. I think, like, this makes a little bit more sense. I think his body was too long in the sketch, so this is gonna be, like, a fairly dramatic change. makes more sense. I hope I didn't butcher this too much. So far what I'm looking at is I don't want it to, to look like this is, this is where his knee is. So I should really try to fix this so we can make it look like his knee is over here. Should I butcher his leg? I'm gonna quickly change the brightness or the backlighting on here just to be a little bit higher. Okay. 
<laughs> it's like the longest break. Shouldn't have taken that long of a break. I'm still like debating about the legs. I think I'm gonna leave the legs for now. Cause like I said before, it's not uh, like as bad as the one I did before. So at least there's that. I need to do this. I may regret this. I'm changing a lot of things right now. It's okay. I think I already mentioned this before, but like backgrounds in general are usually not my strong suit, but like clouds, I have a love-hate relationship. I think they look really cool and like really fluffy if you get the right shapes and stuff. And I think it's fun to be able to add different shadow colors or like play around with the different, almost like textures of clouds and stuff. But I'm not able to do it. <laughs> like, not very well anyways. I like using the cooler purple to do the outlines. I think it looks nicer. when I'm done the whole painting process I'll go over everything usually with another layer of whatever I need it to have so if it's like I need to have a little bit more lighting or luminosity I'll add that in afterwards because sometimes when I do glowing things I can't I'm not good at painting glowy things I was good on like I was good to keep the majority of this fairly light which is good Painting clouds. <laughs> I don't even know why I did this. I have like, look at this. <laughs> so I don't really know if I like how orange this looks. Even though I said it looked pretty, this looks out of place. Cause at this point, it's the orange is from up here. on his arm that's what I was doing. I took a break again. I found a dumb animation I wanted to watch. make it too big.
I'm gonna add a little bit of this teal color into, I mean, parts of the cloud would probably be a good idea. Layer. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna blur it out a little bit. So the blur tool, and then we use the transform tool and kind of just stretch this into into place. down my navigator so I can see all my layers. So this is what we started off with. Mm, this what happened. I guess I zoomed in a little bit as well for the composition. I don't know why. Um, and then here. So this is like the first passive rendering. I did most of his face and then kind of his suit. A little bit of the clouds and stuff. I actually think I like the clouds better in this one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's a mistake. I should have left this right underneath. Even though it follows this shape better, it doesn't make sense over here. Maybe I can fix that still. And then kind of with the, the glows. I still think it looks really cute. But yeah, I think that's about it. Hopefully I'll be able to edit this down. You guys will be able to see this for Wednesday. But thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!